Hello friends, thank you for stopping by for today's nugget, The Temptation of Egypt. You recall that God had called Abraham to leave his country for a land he would give him, Canaan, the promised land. Ironically, when Abraham arrived in Canaan, he left it to a, to, due to famine. Evidence of people from Canaan going into Egypt in times of famine is well attested to in the ancient Egyptian test. The Abraham who leaves Canaan contrasts with the Abraham who left Ur. Before, Abraham was portrayed as a man of faith who left Ur in response to God's call. Now, Abraham leaves the promised land by himself of his own violation. Before Abraham rely on God, how in Egypt he behaves like a manipulative and an unethical politician who count only on himself. We find in the biblical record, as he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife, Sarah, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptian sees you, they will say, this is his wife. Then they will kill me, but they will let you leave. Say you are my sister so that I will be treated well for your sake and my life will be spared because of you. To protect himself, he does not tell the truth about Sarah being his wife. For a moment, it seems he has forgotten that the God who called him can protect both him and Sarah. During his stay in Egypt, Abraham gave evidence that he was not free from human weakness and imperfection. In concealing the fact that Sarah was his wife, he betrayed a mistrust of divine care. What we see here is how a great man of God can make mistake and yet not forsaken by God. When the New Testament talks about Abraham as an example of salvation by grace, it means just that, grace. Because if it weren't for grace, Abraham, like the rest of us, will have no hope. And that is the nugget. Thank you for stopping by. Study your lesson. See you tomorrow. <music>